What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to solve a related rates word problem. So we have a right circular cone and a hemisphere have the same base, and the cone is inscribed in the hemisphere. And we're told that the figure is expanding in such a way that the combined surface area of the hemisphere and its base is increasing at a constant rate of 18 square inches per second. And what we're actually trying to find here is the rate of change of the volume of the cone at the moment when the radius is 4 inches. So this is a lot to unpack here, but in order to do this accurately, let's draw this out so we get an idea of what's actually happening. So we have this hemisphere, and I'll try to draw this as nicely as possible. So we'll give it some three-dimensional qualities here. We'll draw in these you know, dotted arcs here. And what we're told is the cone is inscribed in this hemisphere. So if I draw in these five points, I'm going to connect these towards the top, and this will give us an idea of what this cone looks like. So here's our cone. And remember, they told us that these two figures are sharing the same base. So the base of the cone in the hemisphere is a circle. So now we have to think about what are we actually trying to find? We're trying to find the rate of change of the volume of the cone. Well, just know that the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared times h. So this is our primary equation. But one of the things we can make use of here the fact that the cone is inscribed in the hemisphere tells us that the radius of this cone, which we could indicate with this line here, is exactly equal to the, to the height of the cone as well. Because remember, the distance from the center of a hemisphere to any point is always the same. So since the radius is equal to the height, we know later on that we could not only say that the radius and the height are equal, but if I take the derivative with respect to time, this also tells me that dr dt is going to be equal to dh dt. Now the benefit of knowing this information early on is that what we could do with this is we can make a substitution into this primary equation here for h and we could write this as one-third pi r squared and instead of h we'll replace it with r since h and r are equal and this is going to give us the equation one-third pi r cubed. So Later on, what we want to find is we want to find the rate of change of the volume. So if we take the derivative of this with respect to time, we're going to have dv over dt is equal to, and we have one-third pi times the derivative of r to the third with respect to time is 3r squared dr dt. So when we cancel out these constants here, this tells us that our equation is going to be pi r squared dr dt. Now they told us to find this rate of change at the moment when the radius of the base is 4 inches. So that means we could substitute for r, but we have to find out what is dr dt. So now this is where we go on our side quest and we have to use another equation here to solve for dr dt. So if we go back to the beginning of the question, remember they told us the rate of change of the surface area of the hemisphere and its base. We'll just know the surface area of a full sphere is 4 pi r squared. So we have to think about this next part very carefully. The surface area of a hemisphere, which we'll indicate with this little subscript here, this is half of a sphere, is not just 2 pi r squared. It's very tempting to just cut this in half, but remember, they threw in this key phrase here that the combined surface area of the hemisphere and its base. So we have to include the area of the base, and since the base of a hemisphere is a circle, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that tells us our formula for surface area of the hemisphere is 3 pi r squared. So now what we're going to make use of here is we were also told that the rate of change of the surface area and the base is 18 square inches per second. So if we translate that information, that tells us that ds dt, and we'll put a little hemisphere here to indicate that this is for the hemisphere, that the rate of change of this area is 18 square inches Per second. So at some point we're going to have to make use of this. But now in order to come up with an equation for ds dt, we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of this equation. So we have ds dt, and we'll throw in our little subscript, and this is going to be equal to, we just do the power rule, we have 6 pi r, and then we tack on dr dt. Okay, so we're getting closer to the solution here. Remember, the goal is to solve for dv dt at the moment r is equal to 4 inches. But if we want to come up with an equation for dr dt, what we could do is divide this by 6 pi r on both sides. So we're dividing the equation by 6 pi r. 
All right, so this tells us that dr dt is equal to, and we have ds dt with our little subscript divided by 6 pi r. So now, remember, the idea is we're also considering all of this when r is equal to 4 inches. So we have this exactly at the moment when r is equal to 4 inches. So now we just have to combine all of this stuff. The first thing we'll solve for here is what is a dr dt at the moment the radius is 4 inches. So dr dt when r is 4 inches is going to be equal to ds dt, which we said before was 18 square inches per second. And we're dividing all of this by 6 pi r. So we have 6 times pi and r is 4 inches. Now when we do inches to the second divided by just inches, this is going to become inches to the first. And now think of this on bottom is 24 pi, but we could just start reducing this. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So this tells us that dr dt, when r is equal to 4 inches, is going to be equal to 3 over, and we'll write the 4 in front. We have 3 over 4 times pi, and the unit is just inches per second, which makes sense because the radius is a one-dimensional measurement, so it should be inches to the first. So now we have enough stuff here to close out this problem. Remember, the actual task here is to find the rate of change of the volume. So now we could go ahead and plug into the dv over dt formula. So we have dv over dt at the moment when r is equal to 4 inches is equal to, we have pi, r is 4 inches, and r is being squared times, and then we're plugging in dr dt at the moment r is 4 inches was 3 over 4 pi inches per second. Now we could also see how the units are going to check out as well. So what we have is dv over dt at r equals 4 inches equals pi over pi cancels, but notice we have inches to the second power times inches per second, which is going to be inches to the third power per second, which would be cubic inches per second, which makes sense because we're talking about volume. And now if we simplify this, we have 4 to the second power is 16 times 3 over 4. 16 over 4 simplifies to 4. And now just to close this out, we have 4 times 3. So the rate of change of the volume when r is equal to 4 inches is going to be equal to 12 cubic inches per second. And this is our final answer. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on related rates. If you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.